What's going on everybody, Zach Baker from Baker Builds here. I wanted to do a quick tip video showing you guys how I clean out my airbrush in between colors. Sometimes it can be kind of a pain in the butt whenever you're switching between colors a lot. So I wanted to show you guys how I do it and how I do it quickly. Now this quick tip video only applies to gravity fed or top fill airbrushes. So let's hop over to the painting table and I'll show you guys how it's done. You just got done with your color and you're ready to move on to a next one. The quickest and fastest way to clean out an airbrush like this in between colors is getting yourself one of these guys. They are called a squeeze bottle. You can get them on Amazon and I believe different craft stores have them as well. And all I do is I take an old cup or in this case I'm using an old coffee can. All I'm gonna do is take the squeeze bottle and shoot water into the cup of the airbrush until the water starts coming out clear. And what this does is knocks all that paint down there in the very bottom out really quick. So you're not sitting there just spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying. It's gonna knock out a bulk portion of the paint. So I'll do that until the water's coming up mostly clear. Now there's still going to be paint trapped up in this front part right here. And I get one of these guys. You don't have to use this. It just helps to be able to spray and not have the paint splattering back or your old water splattering back. So I'll just run the water through here. And that's gonna help get all that red paint out of the front of the airbrush right here. Another thing you can do is take a paper towel and you gotta be careful when you're doing this not to smash your needle or bend it, but you can hold it up against there to stop the air. And you push down the air and pull back like you're painting. Whenever you're blocking the front of it, it's causing the air to come down and then turn around and come back out the top. So that'll also kind of help knock some of that paint out of the front of there. So I'll do that, dump it into the cup, Hit it with some more water, run it through here. Kind of backtrack it a little bit. And if I did it properly, there should not be any red paint left inside the airbrush. Now, if you don't have a squeeze bottle, that's okay. You can also use one of these, like a different, it's like a paint tube. The only problem with it is you go through water pretty quick in this, so you're constantly refilling it. So I definitely recommend getting yourself a squeeze bottle. It makes it way faster to be able to blow that paint out of there and switch between colors. Also, something else I wanted to mention is if you're new to airbrush and you're new to lure painting, it only takes a little bit of paint. I've had several people that have come out to my shop and started painting for the first time, and whenever they do, they dump a ton of paint into this cup. You only need a little bit, so if you're going to be cleaning it out the way that I'm doing it, it's not really recycling the paint, more so it's throwing it away, but I only have just a little bit down in there, so I'm not too worried about trying to save that. Sometimes I will also run either some Windex or an airbrush cleaner through there too in between colors if I'm switching from like a dark color like black to a light color it needs that little extra cleaner inside of there to help do not use things like paint thinner because it will eventually eat away at the gaskets and the o-rings and seals that are in the front of there and mess up your airbrush for me I use Windex airbrush cleaner and just straight water and haven't had any problems with it so far I do recommend at the end of the day when you're done painting to go ahead and take apart the front of it and clean everything out properly as far as switching between colors that's how I do it and it has been working great for me I hope this video helped you guys if you have a different method or a different way that you clean out the airbrush make sure to comment below if you guys have any other questions that would make for a good quick tip video make sure to comment those as well thank you so much for watching I will catch you guys in the next video